This is not a random picture I started the video with, but indeed, I fell in love with the city. It's multinational, multicultural, tolerant all confessions and religions, with well-preserved architecture and lots of hidden stories behind it. I've already mentioned in my previous videos that I love wandering around Belize streets, but I also did it with free walking tours, where I picked up a few stories about the city that I would like you to share with. The tours are running every day starting at noon and has different themes. If you are not familiar with Georgian polyphony, this is a unique vocal style that involves singing multiple melody lines in unison. It's a secular tradition that predates Christianity, but a version of it is performed during Orthodox Mass. Ajishati Basilica, home of the world-renowned Ajishati Choir, has daily Mass and a Sunday morning service with polyphony that starts around 9 a.m. There are many beautiful buildings in Belize with different architecture and styles, but the residential house looks like opera theater is a unique one. The local legend says that the house was built by a Russian oil magnate Kalantarov as a pledge of love to an opera singer who agreed to nothing more than a dwelling as splendid as the opera house in Belize. In one of the houses nearby, the memorial desk reminds of the famous former resident Walter Siemens, who lived in Belize for eight years, developing the telegraph line in Georgia. Historical pharmacy, which is located in the same building for over a century and still looks the same. And now a story about one of the most significant bank robbery in Georgia, organized by Bolsheviks, including Stalin to fund their revolutionary activities in 1907. The robbers attacked the bank stagecoach using bombs and guns, killing 40 people, while the money was transporting between the post office and the state bank of the Russian Empire. Scenic Instagram spot of so-called Italian courtyard with old Cadillac in the middle. Typically for Old Belize, there are a lot of small stalls for manually freshly squeezed yummy pomegranate juice. Museum of Modern Art was established in 2005 and entirely devoted to founder Zorab Tseretelli sculptures and paintings. From 2019, MoMA is presenting the exhibition Charlie Chaplin in Belize. The image of Charlie Chaplin's little Trump persona inspired Zorab Tseretelli to create a series of works, which real sense from the cinema and the artist's fiction are mixed, putting a zero into a situation invented by the artist himself. Apple of Love is a unique engineering structure of 9 meters high and adorned with 145 bronze reliefs with murals of men and women standing in Kamasutra-like poses, which form a single composition. The apple's perimeter is embellished with monumental reliefs, based on biblical imagery of spiritual rebirth. Visitors can even go inside the monument to trace the history of human interest from the very beginning of time. The admission to museum is 15 lari, but you can visit Apple for free. One quirk of the city anatomy that you will see all over Belize are the so-called Italian courtyards. One of my most enduring images involves a line of underwear flapping lazily in the breeze. Behind seemingly uniform and tidy stone facades lies a tangle of gardens, balconies, covered walkways with vineyards and spiral staircases. That's mean the pantheon of writers and public figures is a necropolis in Belize, 
where some of the most prominent writers, artists and national heroes of Georgia are buried. It was officially established in 1929 and its opening was dedicated to 100-year anniversary of the Russian writer Alexander Griboyedov, who was buried here in 1829 with his wife. Mama Davidi Church is a dome temple erected in Belize in 19th century. The church is dedicated to St. David Garigelli, the Holy Father who spread Eastern Christianity Orthodox in Georgia in the 6th century. Father David lived on the rock where he carved the cave where the church is now located. Three natural springs are linking from rocky wall and grotto in the yard. It's believed that it's holy water and only orthodox people can go inside. You can see the tombstone on the grave of Stalin's mother on the crowns of Mama Davidi Church as well. That's Minda on Holy Mountain, where Mama Davidi Church is located, is towering 300 meters above the city, and it's the highest point in Belize. The easiest way to get there is by funicular, which was constructed in 1905 with the initial line of 500 meters long. The funicular connects Old Belize with Mount Tatminda and includes three stations. One of them stops near the Pantheon Mamadaviti Church. One-way ticket price is 8 lari. You can enjoy beautiful panoramic views of Tbilisi from the park's observation deck. It's located at 770 meters above sea level and covering an expanse of approximately 100 hectares. The park is divided into three sections dedicated to extreme sports, children's entertainment and family activities. Make sure you come hungry! One of the highlights of visiting Tatsminda is eating at restaurant Fenicola, which serves the best hachapuri in the city and where Fidel Castro, Margaret Thatcher and Alain Delon all dined during their visit to Tbilisi. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.